This committee cannot live in denial, which is what some of us would do when they suggest that this hearing dilute its focus by investigating threats unrelated to Al Qaeda. The Department of Homeland Security and this committee were formed in response to the Al Qaeda attacks of September 11th. There is no equivalency of threat between Al Qaeda and neo Nazis, environmental extremists, or other isolated madmen. Only Al Qaeda and its Islamist affiliates in this country are part of an international threat to our nation. Indeed, by the Justice Department's own record, not one terror related case in the last two years involved neo Nazis, environmental extremists, militias, or anti war groups. I have repeatedly said that the overwhelming majority of Muslim Americans are outstanding Americans and make enormous contributions to our country. But there are realities we can't ignore. For instance, the Pew poll, which said that 15% of Muslim American men between the age of 18 and 29 could support suicide bombings. This is the segment of the community Al Qaeda is attempting to recruit. To combat this threat, moderate leadership must emerge from the Muslim community. As the majority and minority staff of the Senate Homeland Security Committee concluded in its report, which ironically enough was entitled Violent Islamist Extremism and the Homegrown Terrorist Threat, this report concluded Muslim community leaders and religious leaders must play a more visible role in discrediting and providing alternatives to violent Islamist ideology, end of quote. This means that responsible Muslim American leaders must reject discredited groups such as CARE, the Committee on, American, on, Amer on, the Committee on Islamic American Relations. CARE was named as an unindicted co-conspirator in the terrorist financing case involving the Holy Land Foundation. In the lead up to this hearing, I found it shocking and sad that the mainstream media accepted CARE's accusations as if it were a legitimate organization. Thankfully, FDI, FBI Director Mueller has ordered the FBI to cease all dealings and contact with CARE, possibly and probably because of this type of placard and poster, which was posted by San Francisco CARE. I would hope that all law enforcement officials would follow the lead of the FBI director. Al Qaeda realizes that the measures we have put in place over the past nine and a half years make it very difficult to launch a large scale attack against our homeland from outside the country, which is why they have altered their strategy and are using people living legally in the United States.